So behind Manchester Piccadilly train station, there's a giant rusted shed. Yeah, rusted shed. <laughs> and uh, I've always wondered what's inside it. And today I get a chance to look at it live with you guys. Oh, electricity stuff. Got it. This area is railway property. This area is railway property, but Jesus Christ as a goalkeeper. Burnt out engine on a Vauxhall Zafira. A bit of a neo-gothic for you guys. Welcome to Universal Square. This used to be a horrific 1960s uh, brutalist uh, Soviet bloc uh, structure, but they put a bit of cladding on it, a little bit of plastic, a lot of colors and boom, it almost looks presentable in the sunshine. Oh, hi, hi. Oh, I'm just getting a few snaps of the building. It's okay, so nothing. Oh, I prefer not to say I'm a very private individual. This, don't worry about it, it's not a big deal. It's not. No, but it can't be private because everyone can look at it from the... Sorry? Everyone can see it from the yeah, public. No, it'd be nice if you asked or let us know why you were taking pictures. It's nothing dangerous or bad or not a terrorist, so it's all good. No, it's just nice if you asked or yeah. No, you don't call me rude. I'm, I'm, I'm not being rude. No, no, but when people start taking pictures, people start asking me. But can I ask you what business is, of, is it of yours? But, but I'm not in the building. No, but my boss has said, why is that man taking pictures out? Well, that's none of his business either. Is he owns a building. He can own whatever he wants. He doesn't own the light that shines off it. Well, he owns the land that you're stood on. Oh, am I stood in pr private, am I? Yeah, thank you. Okay, well, are you kicking me off? I'm asking you to leave then, yeah. A bit rude. I'll stand where I like, it's okay. Yeah, I love you too. This guy here is doing some quantum thinking. He's like, I am not parked on the double yellow lines. You can even get a wheelchair through here. But the parking attendants, they had two words for him. And I think you can guess what those two words are. Automatic number plate recognition controlled. Do not approach. Okay, that's me warned. But I think it's more for cars. Security man enjoying some uh, quick uh, YouTube shorts enjoying himself You're quite right very very minimal minimal risk here to anything what what yeah I'm just doing some uh, shots of the building that's all yeah yeah I was taking a shot of you because you were on the phone I was I, I thought it was a nice shot and so I, I took it Sorry. yeah yeah you were on the phone so I took a shot of you, have you. Some on my break. I can have... that's fine don't worry about it it's not a big deal it's not a big can I ask where you came from where I come from yeah Oh my God, does it matter where I'm from? Does it matter? I'm from here. One second. One second, do I have to stay? Do I have to stay? Oh. It's okay, you can take pictures of me, I don't mind, we're in public. It's all good. Hi, name's Charlie Veach, how are you? What's your name? You should subscribe to my YouTube channel, you'd like it. You look like a man who likes to take video in public. <laughs> our, uh, our friend over there with a iPhone 13, I think it was. And Uber parking only. Look at all these vehicles here, all Uber. There's the new gig economy at play. The graffiti says Nat Sock. I say not allowed. Fire. Dun, dun, dun. Da, da, fire. Keeps me warm anyway. Here's the headquarters for Network Rail in the north of England anyway. Or in Manchester at least. I don't know if it's the main one, but it looks pretty big and it goes all the way around the corner. And security's quite heavy in the car park. It all looks very nice and uh bluey cloudy shiny floor kind of uh weather so you arrive in your audi tt you wait for the security man to say you're kosher or halal he opens the gates 
and then you go but today oh she's made to wait no you're not going in this is one of the truck depots for the Royal Mail and nice it is this is where they refuel they clean up yeah it's just a truck depot don't need to explain it a lot of red that is tall and uh, across the road here in New Islington we have some interesting technology I'll show you guys in a sec it is a temperature detection zone can you see that can you read it so you stand here and it checks you to see if you're hot or not dot com and what we have here is Manchester City Centre's premier abandoned empty site people who live here will know that there was a giant Toys R Us store before they went bust and uh, yeah it doesn't get more central than this this is the M1 postcode you've got Urban Exchange over there you've got the train station over there and you've got Ancoats and the, the central region it's a 10 minutes walk from here and it's amazing how two years later or maybe it's not amazing because of the pandemic everyone's like WTF universe WTF world WTF politics I can't invest you just shut it all down again and just outside Manchester here in New Islington it gets very nice I love water features and they've done a, a pretty good job considering you know with the canals and the new buildings and there's still a lot of boat people the boat people are coming remember in Australia 25 30 hey doggy remember in Australia 25 30 years ago it was all about keeping the boat people out well Manchester is seems to be quite friendly to the boat people this bridge here it spins obviously for boat man or boat woman or boat couple or whoever to get in and at in and at Hello, sir. You must be the chairman of New Islington. <laughs> I wish I was. It's going down, no worries. The amount of plastic cladding here is is a lot. We're near water, so I shouldn't be too shocked by a random life jacket. Are you a life jacket? You okay? This one's called Hasta la Vista, and uh, I'm just admiring the German Shepherd. The Alsatian, they also call it, but Alsace went back to French ownership, so German Shepherd will call him or her. Here's a development by Urban Splash here at New Islington, but it just looks like a, an Australian COVID camp. Now, this shot you're looking at is so Manchester, it almost aches. It's so Manchester. Another very tight fit. Very tight. Will he make it? I reckon he will. Oh, he's in. Look at that. He's done this before. Oldham Street facing towards Piccadilly Gardens. The bus and tram race. Come on, tram. Go get him, tiger. Did you know that if you plotted the Fibonacci sequence, the golden spiral, into three dimensions, it would create a pyramid, which maybe explains a bit about pyramids, why people like them. Le yellow jacket spotted, I don't think this one's going to give me any grief. This hornet has been de-stingered. No. What? No, Not allowed? No. Yeah, it is, it's okay. Don't threaten police on me, no, dude, dude. Why are you being so rude? I'm not doing any problem to you. You threatening police on me? That's horrible. I'm just a cameraman. Oh, collègue, j'ai déjà fait un grand problème dans le le autre part de le. Je ne je ne je n'aime pas les hommes qui disent. Je vais procurer la police. Ok, merci beaucoup, monsieur. Pas de problème. Je suis seulement faire le photographie. Oui, mais, mais votre travail est dans le inside. Mon travail est ici. Or. Ok. Anyway, je suis très joli de 
practice mon français. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, welcome to the World Heritage Site called Castlefield. Now, hopefully, we'll do the reveal at the same time of the graffiti and the incredible lighting coming down over the train tracks. Here we go. Boris, petrol for a nation on fire. But I have seen the light, and to the light we shall go. Pretty cool industrial Victorian stuff. Gnarly. Castle fuel lift. And the glass is a bit dirty. But we're going up. It's good to go up. We took that lift there to come here. And it's closed until February. Great. To give you the story, it's a massive, beautiful, free garden, really nice, posh garden on a railway line. La -de -la -de oh, look at that. Very nice. Above the Hilton Hotel, you have very expensive apartments. All those there are private residences. Lovely. Okay, which one of my viewers remembers the Hacienda? Which of my viewers actually went into the Hacienda when it was a nightclub? And now, it's apartments. Like everything else, just apartments. We don't even call them flats anymore. We're in home, and there's a very nice sign. I'll see if I can get it for you. I'll, I'll bring it back when it comes back on the screen. Everyone is welcome at home. Everyone, including the photon collector, which I love. They're not going to tell me off. It would be crazy to. Crazy, I tell you. I think it's a nightclub. But interestingly enough, in the eyeballs, there are little cameras. Look at that. The canal that goes under Oxford Street. Here at the Central Library, look what they've done to my boy. My boy, Satan's Claws. It is raining, so I'm just playing around with the f-stops, trying to get a funny exposure for you guys. And the fluorescent stands out hard, doesn't it? Really hard. Let's come back to 20 mil, 20 mil, and we're good. And we've lost focus. Yeah, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. I'm just uh, getting a few shots of... Oh, um, no, it's okay, it's okay, don't worry about it. Not allowed? No. Not allowed? Not allowed, no. Oh, come on, it's fine. No, you're not allowed, sir. Oh, sir, please don't touch my camera. I'm Seriously. not touching your camera. Good man. You put the camera in. No, but I'm not in your building. You, you're not allowed to take pictures inside without permission from the council. But that's if I was inside. No, no it's not. It's, it's, any, it's not anywhere around. You have to have permission to take pictures looking right. into the building. I think you're misquoting me the law, I think you are. You're not you allowed are. to take pictures of inside. But I think I am, so I no, will. Let the lady through. We don't want to block the lady. Let the lady through. You're not allowed to take pictures inside. Sir, you and I both know that I'm stood on public right. property. So right. you anything. You're not allowed to take pictures inside the building. I'm not in the building. I'm off in the building. You are wrong, sir. And you shouldn't, you shouldn't be spouting incorrect nonsense to members of the public, especially when they're working. I'm working. Right, well, you should. If you, want to, if you want to take photos inside, you need to go down and ask in this... No, I'm, I'm, mate, I'm a grown man. I, I give myself permission. I don't need to go get permission from another man. Careful, the other agents of the Matrix are on the earpiece. Anyway, why don't you guys ignore me? I'm just doing my shots. I'm just you getting... You allow shots of inside the building. We're going around in circles. You're talking bollocks to me now. You're talking bollocks. You're it's bollocks. What, what law are you trying to quote to me? I'm not quoting anything. You're so, you keep saying not allowed as if it's like some sort of magical words. Right. I'm just telling you that what you're not allowed to do. You're not allowed to take shots of inside the building. Do you have any elderly relatives, alive or dead, that fought in the world wars? Do you know why they fought those world wars? Do you know why they went to war? I am explaining to you I'm not allowed to take pictures of inside this building. This isn't Putin's Russia. It's not North Korea. A man can stand out in public. 
What do you need a supervisor for? We're just two men disagreeing. I'm telling you that you're quoting me wrong laws. You don't need a supervisor. Anyway, how's my, how's my shot? Your supervisor is probably going to either be A, incorrect, like you, or B, say, actually, yeah, he's... Stop recording, please, sir. Don't give me orders. I don't work for you. You're not my dad. So what's with the, what's with the orders to a man out in public? I don't get it. There's nothing worth photographing in there anyway, except you kicking off. <laughs> See, he gets it. The man in the fluorescent gets it. Very well. I think you've, you're the supervisor and you've been called. The man's giving me a hard time for filming out in public. Are you the supervisor? I am the supervisor. All right. Can you tell him off? He's been very naughty to me. Very naughty boy. So watch the penny drop. Penny's going to drop. Boom! The penny's dropped. <laughs> oh, hi. How are you? Are you here for me? No, you're not here for me, surely. Just the man with a camera out in public. More pennies are going to drop. Here I sit, broken hearted, paid my penny, but only farted. <laughs> 